I salute you many of you as oh, primary five. I'm um, teacher Joshua Waisha by the names. Teach of social studies as you see on the board. Social studies, primary five. And the topic is vegetation of Uganda. That's the topic tonight. The one we are going to look at, vegetation of Uganda. We shall start by defining the word vegetation. My dear learners, vegetation, what is, what is vegetation, what is vegetation, vegetation, this is the plant cover of any area. This is the plant cover of any area. We have types, types of vegetation class. Types of vegetation. We have two types of vegetation. One of them, we have planted vegetation. And number two, we have the natural vegetation. Vegetation. My dear runners, we have defined vegetation. Now we have to say vegetation is the plant cover one area. We have gone further and we have been looking at types of vegetation. And I've told you, we have two types of vegetation. Namely, planted vegetation and two, the natural vegetation. Let's look at the planted vegetation. How does it look like? Planted. Planted vegetation. Planted vegetation. They always ask students, they ask you learners, particular for primary five, primary in or in another class. They always ask, what is planted vegetation? How do you define planted vegetation? From our definition of the plant cover of an area, you will just say planted vegetation. This is the plant cover of an area planted by man. You say, this is the plant cover, plant cover of an area, an area, this is the plant cover of an area planted by man or planted by people. This is the plant cover of an area planted by man. Examples of planted vegetation. Our dear learners, we are looking at examples of this planted vegetation. And one of the these examples, one of this planted vegetation, all other this plant cover, we have number one planted forests. Planted forest. Number two, we have planted grass. Planted grass. Number three, we have the flowers. Number four, we have crops. These are one of the examples of the planted vegetation. We are looking at vegetation of Uganda. Let's go further and look at the planted forests as our small subheading. Planted forests. How do we define planted forests? 
planted forests, these are a collection of trees planted by people in an area. These are a collection of trees planted by people in an area. My dear learners, planted vegetable, planted forest, these are a collection of trees planted by people in an area. Planted forests are planted by people. It's just a collection of very many trees which is planted by people in an area. Then, another similar question we have to answer is that, man, a forest. How do we define a forest? A forest is a large area of land covered with trees. A forest is a large area is a, is a large area of land covered with trees. You can repeat after me as a forest is a large area of land, a large area of land covered with trees. Let's look at the characteristics of planted forests. Car characteristics characteristics of planted characteristics of planted forests what are some of their behaviors the behaviors of these planted forests characteristic number one of these planted forests they mature quickly. The trees mature quickly as characteristic number one. Two, they provide these planted trees, these planted trees, they provide, they provide soft wood. They are asked the type of trees produced by planted forest, this is softy wood. Three, they are grown in lines. They, they are grown in lines as one of the behavioral characteristics number three. Then number four, they are spaced they are spaced. Last number five. Trees are of the same species. Trees are of the same species. If you can't, another word we can say trees are of the same type. Trees are of the same type or species. Let's look at the examples. Ananas. Examples. Oh, examples of trees found in planted forest. Examples of trees found. In, examples of trees found in planted forests we have one eucalyptus number two we have pain not this pain of when someone beats you that feeling of pain after some being slapped or came by someone but it's p-i-n-e-s then we have fur. We have the 
cedar, and lastly, cypress. All of these planted trees, they produce that type of wood we call a, we call a softy wood. They provide softy wood. They produce the type of tree called softy wood. Examples of planted forests in Uganda. Examples of planted forests in Uganda. Examples of these planted forests in Uganda. One of the examples of these planted forests in Uganda, we have Ledu Forest. This one is in Nebi. And you can note as it is the largest planted forest. That is planted in forest in Uganda. Then number two, we have Maga, Maga Forest. It's planted for this one is in Mayuge. Mayuge District. Mayuge District. We have Mafuga Forest. Mafuga for this one is in Lukunjiri. Lukunjiri district. District. And lastly, we have Katugo Forest in Nakasongola. In Nakasongola. District in Nakasongola district. My dear learners, we can stop here. We shall continue here another time. Allow me to end here. However, we have been looking at vegetation and we went further. We looked at a type of vegetation called the planted vegetation. I love you very much. Continue following us. Bye bye.